Hi there. So today I wanted to share with you three ways that the universe is trying to guide you that may be flying underneath your radar. First off, I wanted to say that we are all being guided 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The question is whether or not you're open to receive it and also whether or not you're asking for the guidance because I do believe we have free will and if you don't ask then you're not going to get the assistance from the spiritual realm that you could otherwise be getting. So today I'm going to talk to you more about receiving the guidance and a few ways where you might not be recognizing that the universe is trying to guide you. The first one is going to be more obvious than the other two, so I'm going to start with that one, and that is synchronicities. So usually, though, this becomes obvious to you at some point, but might be subtle at the beginning and you might not be recognizing it. So I'm just going to talk to you real quick on some of the different synchronicities you could be receiving. So you could be receiving this in number sequences. You could be receiving this in song lyrics. You could be receiving messages in overheard conversations. You could be uh, receiving messages in your dream state. Um, all different ways. You, the universe will use everything and anything to communicate with you once you open up to this. Even the animals that you see that cross your path carry a specific meaning. And so once you recognize that the universe is using everything at, at its disposal to communicate with you, you can start to decipher the messages and you can assign messages that mean certain things to you and your spiritual team will pick up on that and then they'll be able to use that symbol um, for you in the way that you interpret it. So you get to actually work with spirit in a like a two-way conversation and you can assign meaning to certain things and once you do that your spiritual team the universe god angels guides all that is source whatever you want to refer to it as understands that that's what that means to you and it will use that symbol to represent that to you so you get to communicate with spirit and have this two-way conversation and so synchronicities can come in so many different ways but the way that you'll know that it's a message for you is very simple it will resonate with you it will click on some level and you will recognize it it may be flying under your radar at first and so maybe this video is getting you to become aware of that that this is happening in your world um, and but once you wake up to it then it will become more consistent I always ask that my synchronicities come in threes and that's very often the case that when I receive a message I'll always ask if it's truly for me send it to me in threes and I'll get it in threes usually within the few a few hours from that or the same day um, and so you get to be in the driver's seat with this you get to co-create with the universe so recognizing that is key now we're gonna move on to two other ways the universe is guiding you that might be flying under your radar one is the second one is that things might not be working out for you and so this can be in any area of your like life work uh, relationship money career oftentimes when things are not working out it's the universe trying to redirect you to focus on something else there's another opportunity um, around the corner but you might be blocking it because your ego is clinging to the physical form of something the the need for something and unwilling to relinquish the control but if you surrender in this process and recognize that you are being guided it will be a much easier smooth experience um, so recognize that oftentimes when things are not working out it's you it's because there's something better around the corner and you need to trust and have faith and surrender to the process to allow that to come into your life because you truly have to be willing to let go of the things that are not, not in alignment for you in order for things that are in alignment to flow into your life. But our ego likes to cling to things, uh, physical things, physical form, and hold on to things. And as long as that's the case, it will be a very resistant process. It'll be a struggle. And I truly believe that when the universe wants to communicate with you, and when I say universe, I mean soul, God, guides, angels, oneness, whatever, source, whatever you want to refer to, it will tap you on the shoulder and try to give you signs. It may just be even an insight, an inspiration, a spark of insight. But um, it can be a light tap at first, like a tap on the shoulder, like, hey, look over here. And if you don't listen, eventually that tap will get louder. And that's when things can really start to not go your way because the universe is really trying to redirect you. And so that little tap on the shoulder can turn into you feeling like you're beating your head against the wall very, very quickly if you are resistant to receiving the guidance. 
So that's the second one. The third one that I want to talk about is you are recognizing patterns and cycles in your life. Again, this can be in any area of your life, relationship, work, career, money, health, whatever. But you're recognizing relationships in your, or not relationships, you're recognizing cycles in your life and patterns in your life. And the reason these patterns are showing up is because they're trying to show you or reflect back to you what it is you need to integrate. So the universe is using law of attraction and everything at its disposal to bring into your awareness what it is that you need to get to your next level. So when you're experiencing a pattern that's good, obviously, or it's in line with your desires, I don't like to use the word good necessarily because there is really no good or bad, right? But because everything's serving us, everything's serving our soul growth. But let's say you have a pattern or a cycle that is, that is unfavorable. It's likely bringing awareness to something that can be healed so that you can transcend that circumstance. And so you'll see the same patterns and cycles popping up uh, sometimes for years or a lifetime, depending on how unwilling you are to look at the pattern. And this pattern can be in any area of your life. But the patterns only persist in your reality for as long as that they serve you. When they cease to serve you, the pattern will cease to exist. So if you are in a pattern with money, career, work, health, or relationships that's not serving you, it is showing you something. It is guiding you. It is There is w nuggets of wisdom hidden in those patterns and cycles that are guiding you, but you have to be willing to look at it for what it is. You have to be willing to say, okay, what is the higher reason for this occurring? What is this trying to show me? How can I learn from this experience? And one question I really like to add to that is, what do I need to integrate within myself in order to break this pattern? And there's a lot of identifying in there, what is it within myself that's causing this pattern to begin with? Because it's our inner reality that creates our outer reality. So asking these questions and being really honest with yourself is really important. So I hope this brings some clarity for you. Um, if this is something that you got value from, please hit the like button regardless of where you're watching this, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, you know, like it or comment below. I love your feedback. And if you uh, want more videos like this, yeah, please hit the, you know, Subscribe if you're on YouTube to make sure you get notified every time I release a new video. And you can always hop on my newsletter list which to ensure that you never miss a video or any of my special um, free trainings and master classes and all of those fun things that I am constantly putting out. And you can find me at sarah-rose.net. So if that interests you, I'd love to see you over on my website and opt into my newsletter so that you can get access to all of the free trainings and everything that I offer. I hope this video finds you well. Namaste.